All right, so this is a follow up video for the 2019 Honda Passport. We are filming this in the daytime, like requested from a lot of viewers. So now we have a clearer view of the vehicle in the, sun, in the daylight. So once again, this is an elite trim level on this Passport. So you got standard LED uh, lights, low beam and high beam, and LED fog lamps as well. You're going to have Honda Sensing built into your logo. Also with the camera that's built up here as well, next to the rear view mirror. So you're going to have adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, collision mitigation, road departure warning. You also have blind spot monitoring built into the vehicle as well. So here's the side profile of the car. So the major changes took place behind the rear uh, wheel and where the C pillar is. So they actually chopped off quite a few inches and got rid of the third row. So now it's got more of a, a sporty theme to it from the side profile. Let's go ahead and open up the tailgate to show you the changes made. So here's a unique rear fascia once again about, for the vehicle. Kind of looks like a Range Rover Sport to a degree, an Explored. A little bit of everything. Tip, very typical of something in this class. Got a nice dual exhaust here. Let's go ahead and open up the cargo area. Okay, so this is going to reveal that there's a lot of space back here without that a third row taking up the space. And your second row is going to be a 60-40 split. So you have multiple ways to configure the seats here. So you can clearly see there's a lot of room to put a lot of gear back here. We also have a little bit more storage over here. So if you need additional uh, things to put away, it's a very nice little section here. So you have plenty of headroom, forward and aft, and all the controls that you need. So you got a lot of power points here, different charging ports, and also you're going to see the rear ventilation and HVAC controls are nicely equipped well, as well. Let's go ahead and close it up. So as a reminder, this is a 3.5 liter V6 pushing 280 horses. This is connected to a 9-speed automatic on the Elite trim that we're looking at. Let's go ahead and look at the back seat space. So there's plenty of legroom to be had here. The seats do have a little bit of recline function as well. Then once again, talk about the HVAC, here's all the controls. So you have heated rear seats, which is unique to this model. You got HDMI connections and different controls for the AC as well. You got cargo pockets here in the seats on both sides. That's a nice touch. You got rear window shades on this Elite trim. You got multiple cup holders here just in case. And rear window shades. This is a demo car, so there's no pricing yet or fuel economy. Well, actually... We have some information here. So on this particular car, we can see something with that on the fuel economy. All right, let's take a look at the front. So if you've seen a pilot in the past, this is gonna look very, very similar. So this is all pretty much carry over. The steering wheel is a little bit different because now it has a perforate leather instead of the smooth leather all the way around. So those are your controls for your transmission. You got your wireless phone charger. Some of the safety technologies right over here. So you got your parking sensors, collision mitigation, road departure warning. You have auto uh, fold uh, mirrors as well. That's pretty cool. Here's a look at the sunroof. And your center console. What's a little bit different about the seats on this car is the center part here. So the stitching and the pattern is a little bit different. Gives a nice sporty appearance. And then here also you can have your memory uh, seating just to, just like everything else. So you got your blind spot monitor, memory seats, navigation standard, dual climate control, rear uh, controls of the AC as well. And everything that you need while you're on your journey. So once again, this was a quick look at the uh, Passport. Please comment below what you think of the car. I've been getting a lot of feedback. This is going to do really well. A lot of people have been looking for a vehicle this size. And I think Honda has a hit on their hands. So please uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys later. Have a great day.